Hey guys, it's Andy Elliott. So I don't need to drive the car before I buy it. it. I don't know why this is something silly that we get in the car dealership, but we get it all the freaking time. I remember the very first time someone came to the dealership and they said, I don't need to drive that car before I buy it. And I went into my manager and my manager said, hey dude, you idiot, get back out there. You can't write that deal up until you have them drive the car. Guys, so what I wanna do, if this is an objection that you've ever heard, Unless it's your first day, I promise you, all of you have heard it. I'm gonna show you how to overcome it in this video, and you can take my word tracks that I use so you can overcome it and it'll never be an issue again. Okay guys, let's get to it. So when someone says, I don't need to test drive the car, maybe it could be one of two ways. One, they say generally like, I don't need to test drive the car because I know that I like it, and I'm ready to go inside and work a deal on it, and I don't wanna drive it. Or two, it could be, hey man, I already drove one similar to it down the street, Okay, and now I want to go work a deal on your car because I already drove one like it. It could be one on either side of the fence. What I want you to know is this. A salesperson's job, this is a salesperson's job, is to slow the customer down, to make them get emotional, to build a best friend with the customer, to make them fall in love with the car. When people want something more than they want, the money that they have in their pocket, they will spend it. How do you make somebody really want something? Number one, you get them emotional about it. But guess what? And then when we go inside, we can collect all the money, do a good job, and we know that they're going to stay and buy it because it's like a roller coaster ride. It's all the way at the top. But a customer, what do they want to do? The customer wants you as a salesperson to become emotional. Why? Because they want to press you on time. Because they know a lot of the times in the past, when they've pressed the salesperson, they've come up and say, you know what, I like this truck, man, what's going to be your best price on it, what's your best deal? And you're like, well, you know, why don't we take it for a drive and check it out and then make sure you like it. And he says, I don't need to drive it, I've driven them before. Man, I bought Dodge my whole life, you know what I'm saying? I don't need to drive that. I just want to see kind of what your best deal is going to be and we'll, we'll see if I want to buy it or not. All of a sudden, guess what? I just summed up a customer's dream in 30 seconds. The salesman's flustered, the salesman's emotional, there's no time for you to make him get excited and love it and become attached and want to take it home. And guess what? All of a sudden, the customer wins victoriously. And by the way, we take a freaking butt chewing from our manager, right? By running in and saying, hey man, got this guy out here, he wants the best deal. What's your manager gonna say? Did he drive it? You're gonna say, no, he won't drive it. And he's gonna say, dude, why are you being so freaking weak? Oh my God, I told you we should have got rid of him last week. You can't even get a customer to drive the car. Guys, I know what it's like inside a dealership. I've been there my whole life. I never want you to have that problem again, okay? So, what I'd like you to do is understand this. You wanna slow the customer down, you wanna make them emotional, you wanna fall in love with it. They don't wanna do it, in most cases, okay? What do we do? What we do is we handle it just a little bit differently, okay? And what we say is this, is that customer says, oh, we don't need to test drive it. We drove one just like it down the street or, you know, we don't need to drive it all. We had about the last, the last cars we ever bought, we didn't drive those either. You say, hey, I understand that and I, I respect that and I appreciate you. And number one, the fact that you don't need to drive it, I think that's amazing. So our test drives here, they don't have to be long. They can literally be down the service drive, then back. All that I care is that we're high in all the critical areas that are important to you and your family as far as price, trade, payments, all that stuff. But one of the commitments that I made to the owner when I started working here is that every customer would get the opportunity to touch it, feel it, smell it, and drive it, even if it was for a 30 second test drive. And then when you're done, we're good to go. Is that fair? Jump on in, let's rock and roll. Guys, it can be the quickest one you've ever seen in your life. Matter of fact, you can pull it out this gate and pull it back in that one. Guess what happens? Once you get them in the car, you're going down the damn highway, okay? That's the way it goes. It's kind of like this. Hey guys, come inside, you know what I'm saying? Let me show you a two minute proposal of what the deal looks like. Guys, those are car dealership two minutes, okay? A test drive for me saying it can go in one gate and out the other, that is a car dealership test drive, I'm telling you. We're going in and out, when actually we're gonna go down the road, we're gonna spend about five minutes together, I'm gonna get to know you guys, you're gonna love the vehicle, and guess what? Accidentally, you think you went on a little longer test drive than you thought you were gonna go on. But no, that was well planned out. See, I know that the fill of the will seals the deal. And when the customer drives the car, and they fall in love with it, 
and they see for the first time. See, they say the test drive is the very first time that the customer envisions himself owning the vehicle. So if you skip the test drive, you skip that. So now what I'm doing is that they, if they don't test drive it, I'm stuck trying to close or convince a cold customer. Who wants to close a cold customer? Not me. I want to get them hot. I want to get them warm. I want to get them excited as, as possible. I want them to envision for the first time that this is the vehicle they can envision owning if the deal was right. Now, does he still say he wants to make a great deal in the back of his head? Yes, but also now he's become a little bit more attached than he was before. Guys, this is a video that will help you never get stuck on, I don't need to test drive it again. If you didn't get everything that I said, take a pen and piece, a piece of paper. Rewatch the video, slow down, write down any and everything that I said that resonated with you and as small and as simple as it is, it's the first time the customer envisions this car uh, being in their driveway and actually owning it. So guys, have a great day. I hope you love the video. And remember, go back through it, watch it again and take notes. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, thank you for watching the full video. I started when I was 18 training just like you, no matter where you're at in life. I want to tell you this, being committed is all that it takes. I put out free training content on YouTube every single day to make sure that I can take you to the next level of life. I have over 500 free videos. Please make sure that you like the video. Shoot me a comment below and shoot me a text message. I'd love to get to know you, okay? If I haven't met you yet, 918-210-0254. Take a second, guys. Shoot me a text message. You're important to me. I have your back for life. We're going to go all the way to the top together. I appreciate you. you guys have a blessed day. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and set your alerts for the daily training video. Thank you.